access call. Your destination is on the left. Hey everybody, Brick and Brood here, and this morning I am on my way to an amazing Lego sale put on by a bunch of fans of Lego. The one that actually that caught my eye is Emmett's toy chest. Some of you guys already might know him as Alex, and I'm gonna go meet him today for the first time. I remember talking to him last year about coming over and I didn't end up making it to the sale, but this year I have no excuse, I have nothing going on this morning, so I'm gonna head over there and see what's going on with everybody. I'm just walking up to an amazing Lego sale put on by Emma's Toy Chest and a few other sellers that I'm about to meet. Pretty excited, let's see what we can find. The first tent here belongs to Brad the Lego Guy, or BTLG, who I would later meet and discover that he has been putting these type of events on and selling Lego for years. Here in Paris, Ontario, you can see that there are five tents set up in this residential area with different sellers occupying them. In my experience as a LEGO fan buying and selling on the aftermarket, it was very refreshing and encouraging to see the sale in progress. One cool thing to see at the sale were some custom LEGO displays, including this epic map of Westeros including custom minifigures from Game of Thrones. Inside the garage it was really cool to see a bunch of LEGO displays and custom mocks. Again, prior to the sale I had a mind-blowing experience at my first LEGO convention in Chicago, Brickworld. Walking into the garage brought back some of those same feelings of awe. And just like at Brick World, I had the pleasure of hanging out with Rick Brickham again here in Paris. It was a pleasure meeting up with him and exploring the sale together, and we both ended up picking up some cool minifigures and sets. The main reason why I came to the sale today was because of Alex, so it was great to finally meet him in person. And finally, before I left, I was able to meet up with Brad and buy some sets off him directly. As a diehard LEGO fan, I've been searching for LEGO online for a while, and I've come across BTLG's website before. So it was a pleasure to meet and take advantage of this epic LEGO sale. When you head over to btlgbricks.ca, you're greeted with a really cool video that introduces him and what his whole store is about. Currently, most of the sets and minifigures on his store seem to be on sale. If you're in the need of any last minute Christmas shopping, you might want to head over there now and check it out. The sets and minifigures on his website are well organized by their themes. There's also a miscellaneous shop where you can get books, gear, poly bags, vehicles, animals, and even some BTLG brick custom sets. All right, everybody, I cannot believe that it. it's been six months since that sale, and I've been holding onto this bag underneath my city ever since then. It's just been sitting down here, and I've been waiting to make this video, and here we go. So, uh, let's get to it. Alright, so this is the first set right here I'm going to show you guys. This is a set from Legoland. It says $30 on it. I don't believe I paid $30 for that set. Um, I actually met Brad for the first time in his garage, and this was up on the shelf, and I picked it up and thought, I'll buy this. I think it's pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure he worked out a nice deal for me. Um, this set right here is pretty sweet. Got a caveman and cave woman. This is the set that Rick Brickham also picked up. And uh, it's pretty sweet. It was five dollars. Comes with some pretty nice little minifigures. And I actually already have this one, so I'll, and it's open, so I'm gonna keep this one sealed. And that's actually gonna be a reoccurring theme in this uh, set here, because maybe it's been six months and as a big Lego collector, things happen. For example, Ray's Speeder, brand new unbox. I got a nice deal on this one. I remember I, I uh, bought it there. I am now actually talking to a Lego seller on my local uh, classifieds who's going to be giving me to giving me this set for about 15 bucks used. So uh, I'm going to keep this one sealed. And uh, same with this set right here, the battle on Takadona. I'm not very good at saying these words probably here. And Maz Katana, that's the big minifigure that's in this set. And I was really happy to see this at a good price, brand new sealed in box. But about a month ago, I found this used for a good uh, price as well. So I bought that and built it and it's now in my collection. So now I'm going to be able to keep one, two, three, three of these boxes sealed, which is I'm pretty happy to because that's pretty cool as a Lego collector. And uh, here we go. Check this one out. So you guys might be able to tell where I got this one from. This is right from Alex. This is one of his use sets here. No instructions, no big deal. This is the um, Imperial Assault Hover Tank. And it comes with that really amazing uh, blind man who is one with the force. So I think it's the only set he comes in, so I'm happy to get that. And I have to say it, Rogue One might be the best Star Wars movie ever made to date. 
Oh. It's fantastic. It's gritty. It's, it feels more realistic than the other movies. It's uh, more adult. It's more, uh, it's not as kiddie. And it's just great. It's really well done as well. It's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful movie, really well shot. So uh, happy to have this set to our collection as well. And then we got a bunch of minifigures in here. So let's start off. We got Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Plus Uncle Scrooge, so that's great. I'm gonna add them to the collection. Don't have those many figures yet. The uh, Rock Batman, the Batman, Rockstar Batman maybe. I'm not too sure you wanna say. Looks like we got uh, Joker at the beach. Corn, I mean, this is more relevant now than it was in June, so that's great. We got um, a guy looking like he's working on a garage, possibly. And then we got an ice cream man here, and uh, that's pretty sweet. I got a cool little ice cream store in my uh, town. I'm gonna be able to uh, put him at the counter. I think that's gonna be awesome. All right, so here it is, everybody. This is all the sets that I got at that amazing sale. It was so cool to see, and actually, it was very inspiring to see as well. So I have actually asked Alex and Brad if they would come join me on a stream where I would be able to ask them some questions about their sales, about their stores, about their um, online websites. And as well, I really find it interesting that they uh, have a really awesome charity involved with the McMaster Children's Hospital. It just finished, they had a big toy drive that they do every year, and I'm curious how long that's been going for. And it kind of inspires me to want to try to do that in my local area. So if that's something that you guys are interested in trying to hear more about, I recommend joining us on December 20th at 8 p.m. We're gonna be doing a live stream on my YouTube channel, and it's gonna be awesome just to chat with some fellow AFOLs and uh, get to know their insights from the uh, selling side of the whole uh, Lego uh, collecting and uh, community in general. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to live streams and see what's going on in Lego City here. I'm definitely due for a Lego update for you guys. And uh, I got lots of sets that I've been waiting just to build. I got lots of parts I've been ordering. So uh, remember to hit that subscribe button basically is what I'm trying to tell you. So thank you very much everybody, take care. I'll see you next Tuesday.